sex drive or our motivation to achieve orgasm. Sexual pleasure is associated with orgasm and the first step in enjoying orgasm is for a person to be motivated to do so. If we look at how women invest their money and their efforts, they probably spend as much on cosmetics, high heels and revealing clothing as men spend on sex and pornography. A woman's sexual focus is to get a man into bed, and that's the easy part. Then she needs to keep him interested in having sex with her by responding appreciatively during sex, if she doesn't want to lose him to someone more amenable. The fact is, we're all very different. But we assume that we're all sexual equals. Alfred Kinsey emphasised the huge range in sex drive that defines normal for both sexes. For example, some women orgasm many times a day, and some men orgasm once every few weeks. But on average, Kinsey found that men are up to six times more sexual, as measured by the incidence of orgasm, than women are. Male sex drive declines with age, but even by the age of 60, male orgasm frequencies have not fallen to the female level. Women orgasm on average once every two weeks, regardless of age. For men under 30, the average is three times per week. Unlike men, women do not approach sex just short of an orgasm, which explains why men tend to initiate sex but also why a woman offers a man intercourse rather than focus on obtaining the stimulation that might lead to her own orgasm. Men are much more motivated by sex and orgasm than women are. In a competitive world, more is always equated with better, but there is nothing to prove that people with a high sex drive are any happier than those with a low sex drive. A woman is impregnated regardless of orgasm, so there is no reason for her to orgasm by any means. In other words, there is nothing either abnormal or unusual if a woman never has an orgasm, either alone or with a lover. Increasingly, women today have the confidence to challenge the media portrayal of women's sexuality. The Australian writer, Cathy Lett, suggests she prefers a man who can talk, or even cook, over one who is obsessed with orgasm. The American writer, Joan Sewell, in her book, I'd Rather Eat Chocolate, talks confidently and positively about having a low libido. In the BBC Three documentary, Britain in Bed, broadcast in 2012, George Michael gives his candid opinion the idea of no strings attached sex is very attractive to most men, gay or straight. In the same programme, Peter Stringfellow defends lap dancing against the objections of the female protesters outside his London nightclub. He says, the truth is, this is a male form of entertainment for men. Sex is evidently a frivolous form of entertainment for at least some men but it involves a more serious emotional commitment for most women. These basic differences between the sexes need to be reflected in sex information if we are to present couples with reality rather than fantasy.